What is going on you guys? Brandon here aka Brawadis and today I'm here with a very special guest FaZe Rug and we are going to be trying something on this channel that I have never tried before a seafood boil mukbang. Me and my brother are pretty much just going to be eating all the seafood while telling you guys our craziest stories. I hope you guys are excited and I hope you guys enjoy the first mukbang on this channel. Okay okay seafood boil time. Ah, okay. Come oh. on, bro. King crab. Bro, this is so heavy. The shrimp is like. Whoa. Bro, look look at how much shrimp. Look at that. That's crazy. Dude. Oh my god, there's a whole ass lobster. Oh my. It has the eyes and everything, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, that's crazy. Woo! Look at this. Juicy. A whole ass lobster. Bro, I don't even know how to dig in on that. Like, <gasps> is it it's hot? sharp AF. Okay, what's next? Definitely the king crab, bro. I mean, oh my goodness. I'm digging in on this the whole video. Guys, check go it out. Go for it. Go for it. Oh my. Bro, there's so much shrimp. Oh, you know what we should have done? We should do ASMR. Ooh, that shrimp. Dude. Oh, look at that. Dude, look how big this bro. crab leg is. Holy. Cut the oh my god. It's corn. A, A big, big lump, lump of nuts. It's got, got the juice. juice. It's got the juice. Lemon. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Lemon and seafood go together like the Phoenix Suns and winning championships. So it doesn't go, go together or? Don't make jokes right now. Okay. okay. Okay guys, so we have our whole seafood boil set up. As you can see right here, we got our shrimp. Over here, we got our sausage, cone. We got a whole lobster. Dude, this is, I still can't get over this. The fact that we have a whole lobster with the eyes and, and whiskers and everything, mm -hmm. bro. We got cow, god dang it, that's sharp. Yeah, this one is sharp. <laughs> bro, why are crabs born with, with the sharp stuff on their body? Like look, when I touch your body like this, I don't get hurt, like you're a normal soft I'm skin. A human. Anyways, we got the king crab legs. We got the potatoes. Now we're ready to eat and tell our stories. All right, Brian, I'll start it off. The year is 2013. I am 17 years old. Brian is 16 years old. It was my senior year. I was a senior. My brother was a junior. You know when you're a senior in high school, you know, you, you think you're cool. You think you're a part of the, the cool party crowd. So I decided... Me and, me and my cousin Jessica, we decided we were going to throw a party at my house. Damn, you're just throwing Jessica under the bus now? Jessica, I love you, but this party was both of our ideas, not just mine. So, anyway, me and Jessica, we have a plan. The next time Mama Rug and Papa Rug go on a date and leave the house, because obviously me and my brother were still in high school, so we still lived with our parents. Of course. So, and we kind of still did live with them till the age of like 25. I still live with them to this day. The next time Papa Rug and Mama Rug went on a date, I was gonna throw that party. So the day comes. Papa Rug takes Mama Rug out to dinner, and after that they were gonna go to a resort. So this was gonna be like an all-night thing. Like yeah. they weren't they weren't supposed to be back home anytime soon. It wasn't just a dinner. They had a hotel room and everything. So me and Jessica decided it's a perfect day, and we dragged Brian into this. Of course. To give you guys perspective, I wasn't popular in school, so any opportunity I had to seem popular, I would take it. So like going to a party or throwing it at our house. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, this is gonna make me a cool kid at school when people see me the next day. So I'm like, dude, I'm all for it. Exactly. So at first when we pitched Brian the idea, <laughs> like you said, he wasn't like one of the popular kids in school, which is crazy to think about because now he has over 20 million people are subscribed to his YouTube channel. So by the way, this lobster is impossible to open. Bro, no, I was gonna say we need those like crap yeah. things. No, 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 no. So I pitched Brian the idea and I'm like, bro, I'm about to throw a party at our house when my mom and dad go on this date. Please don't snitch on me. You could be a part of it. You could hang out with us. You know, <laughs> there's gonna be there's gonna be drinks, so you know you could drink like blah 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 whatever. So the night comes. My mom and dad leave. They leave to their date. We have everything set up. We have balloons. We have stuff around the walls, and we have you know we have drinks. I start inviting people left and right, left and right. We didn't live in a huge house before, so our driveway only fit what two cars, maybe three. How many cars pulled up to our house that night? There was like I would say at least. 30 people there. Mm -hmm. Bunch of cars, music blasting loud, everyone going crazy, it was a real ass party. And my mom and dad, they're supposedly, they're far away. They're far away, they're on a date. Bro, Bro that's what we thought. That's what we thought. Keep in mind, Brian was a part of this whole party. He was there, he was partying, <laughs> talking to people, like having the time of his life. It was super fun. It was my first ever party and it was at our house. A lot of popular kids were talking to me. I'm like, bro, like, I'm cool now. Now, this is where the story goes from wow, what a great night, this is so good. All the popular kids are gonna talk about us at school 
turns into holy shit, what just happened? Yep. So we're all just chilling downstairs, music blasting. It's around what, like midnight, 11.30? 11.30, mm -hmm. 11 12. Party was just getting started. Drinks, music. I was like, vibing with a girl. Uh, everything's going good. About 30 people there, 15 cars outside, great time. And then uh, I was like in the kitchen and then out of nowhere, I see people start running. <laughs> running in front of me and I'm like, oh no, the cops showed up. Imagine the scene, people start running left and right. Imagine you're at the zoo and like the lion escapes its enclosure and people start running away from that. That's literally. what it looked like. People like jumping over the fence. Yeah, they were literally like hopping the fence, running into the street, screaming, get out, get out, go, go, go. Me and Brian thought for sure the cops showed up. Yeah. But it was worse than the cops. It was? Mama Rug, dude. Mama Rug. So we see everyone start going crazy, running, jumping the fences, running out into the street. Go, 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 <laughs> run, run. It was like straight out of a movie. My mom pulls up oh, to man. the party. Look, Officer Tail, bro. Let's see it. Oh, my mom starts walking towards the door of the house. Me, Jessica, and Brian, we start freaking out. We start panicking. Oh my God, what are we going to do? What should we tell her? We're telling everyone, leave, leave, leave. Get out, get out, get out. As I'm screaming at people to leave, my mom's here, my mom's here, go, go, go. I look to my left, it's Jessica. I look to my <laughs> right, Brian wasn't there anymore. In my head, I'm like, where the hell did Brian go? It took me only 10 seconds. I turned around and I was telling everyone, leave, my mom's here, leave, my mom's here. Okay. 10 seconds. I turned back around, Brian's not there. Loki, Brian. I'm a legend, bro. Okay, you tell them now where you went, what your point of view was. What did you do? Why were you not there? So I saw my mom was about to walk in. I quickly, quickly run upstairs. Put on my pajamas, turn on my Xbox, literally hitting up my friends like, yo, invite me to a party right now. So I start playing Call of Duty. Is that for me? Yeah. Thank you. So I start playing Call of Duty and I put my headset on and I'm like, yo guys, kill one, kill one, let's go. Bro. Little did I know, I mean, I did know that my mom was downstairs literally screaming. Brandon and Jessica are caught in trouble downstairs. Me and Jessica are getting yelled at. I don't know, I just went upstairs, pretended to play, and then my mom came into my room. Brian was always the good kid. Like we said, he wasn't popular, he never partied, he was like the angel. Hey, 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 I still My mom believed everything. My mom thought okay. that me and Jessica were the only ones downstairs during the party, and that Brian was upstairs in his little pajamas playing Call of Duty the whole night, <laughs> and only me and Jessica got in trouble. Little did my mom know that this dude was downstairs having the time of his freaking life, talking to a girl, freaking vibing, listening to music. Bro, that's just how I was. Bro. Well, I'm not gonna lie. You're a legend for that. Bro, I mean, like, why wouldn't you try to save your ass? Huh. No, but when my mom did come upstairs, she saw me playing, she's like, do you know what's happening downstairs? I'm like, no, mom, what's happening? Is, something, is everything okay? Hold on. <laughs> my mom believed me. No, but hold on, hold on. Do you guys want to hear the most up part of this story while my mom was upstairs believing brian's story i was downstairs try still trying to get everybody to leave the house guys get the fuck out the house my mom is home get out get out i'm trying to turn down the music i'm trying to hide all the alcohol so my mom leaves brian's room after believing his story and she starts walking downstairs i'm shitting my pants i i'm so scared at this moment and she goes like this to me she points at me and she goes Come here. I'm still in high school at this point. I'm so scared of my mom. She goes, get in the car. And I'm like, okay, mom. Okay, where are we going? She's like, get in the car. So I get in the car. It's like, it's almost like one in the morning. It's the middle of the night at this point. She comes in the car and she starts driving. And this little car ride, we didn't even end up going anywhere. It was just my mom driving around the whole block, chewing me out, yelling at me. Brandon, why would you do this? What is wrong with you? Are you stupid? Are you crazy? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, but the one thing she said that I'll never forget, this pissed me off the most. In that car ride, while I'm getting yelled at, the one thing she said that will always stick with me and I'll never forget is her saying, why can't you be more like your brother? Look how good he is. Look how, look how innocent your little brother is playing video games. And in my head, I'm like, ooh, if only my mom knew. And I ended up getting all the blame for this party. Ow! Bro, was, this is hard to eat, bro. So that was story number one. Honestly, I feel like it's hard to believe because it sounds like it's straight out of a movie or like a TV show, bro. Okay, Brian, are you ready for the next story? What is it, bro? I picked the story of the party, so I'll let you pick what story you want to tell next. Mm. Do you remember when we used to dress up for church? <laughs> 
you should, we, should we tell the story? I think so. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Should I start it off? Yeah, I don't even know where you want to start it. Me and Brian, when we were younger, we're Catholic, by the way. So when we would go to church when we were younger, we would dress. We would be like altar boys. And we would help out the priests and just help out the church. Take it from here on the day of the mass. So, so we would have to go, I would say, what, like an hour early before the mass started? So they could kind of go over the mass. We would dress up. They would tell us what we had to do because every altar boy kind of had a different duty. Some people would bring out like the cross. Some people would bring out the body of Christ. And you know, everyone had different duties. Mine and my brother's duty. What did we have to do for the priest? We used to hold the Bible for the priest so he could read for the crowd. So me and Brandon would be like this. Let's just give like a demonstration. Okay, so obviously the priest is not going to stand there holding the Bible himself. So mine and my brother's job. It was a really big book. We would each hold one side of the book just like this. The priest would be right here. The priest would be standing right here and he would be reading off the book like to the mass okay oh man this is giving me horrible flashbacks okay my parents would always tell us because me and brian were younger when we would dress and be the altar boys bro my we would mess around a lot i'm not gonna lie like it's not good to mess around in church but when we were kids bro like we were, we goofy. were what, like 12 we were like 12 13 we were goofy kids the time came where we had to actually hold the bible and here okay before we keep going with the story what did my parents tell us before the mass that made it even worse do not laugh okay don't laugh literally was one of our first time holding the bible Bible for the priest so our parents warned us they're like don't laugh the whole mass is gonna be watching you guys don't laugh <sighs> like what like what what happens to you guys when someone tells you this is a serious situation don't laugh what does that make you guys want to do Listen. laugh case in point is on the way to church mama rug and papa rug are telling us hey it's a big day you <laughs> guys are doing this and this for the church don't laugh so guess the point me and brian are holding the bible for the priest pretend dennis is the priest right so the priest is standing right there me and brian are holding the bible bro how many people were at that mass a hundred at least a hundred yeah it was a big church it was a big church and there's a hundred people there everyone is staring at me and my brother and the priest me and brian are holding the bible and the whole time going through my head i don't know about you but the whole time going through my head was my parents saying don't laugh don't laugh and i'm like looking at like my mom and dad in the crowd i see them and i'm just imagining don't laugh don't laugh what is the first thing we do brian right when the priest starts talking burst into laughter bro it was so bad like and it was quiet like you know like in church it's quiet, it's quiet. before the priest talks and it, what's worse is brian we didn't just burst out laughing right away it was like this like a, like this <laughs> at <laughs> church with a hundred people staring at us while the priest is trying to read the bible for everybody there but my face was so Oh, red, like, and bro. me and Brian are like this. Brian, hold the Bible. We're trying not to look at each other in the eyes because we'd laugh more. So it's like this. <laughs> I would just try to look down. <laughs> and like, all you hear is boom, 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 while the priest is trying to read from the Bible and everyone is looking at us like they're, they're mad. They're, they're mad. mad. They're mad. And they're like looking at my parents like, these are your kids. Dude. Like, this is how you raise your kids. And me and Brian. Are we embarrassed? my mom and dad because like obviously like we were younger so we everything younger. we do reflects on our parents brian i don't know about you i wasn't even thinking about the consequences like from the church i was just thinking what the heck my parents were gonna do to us the second we got home on the way back dude i swear we got the biggest yelling the yelling of a lifetime after that church day but like like we said we weren't laughing at anything the priest said or mm -hmm. we weren't laughing about at anything about church we we don't laugh about that like i said we're catholic and nothing about that is funny the the part that that made us laugh is our freaking parents telling us don't laugh imagine brian like we said there's a hundred people all looking at us like what are you guys doing who are these kids who are you guys' parents that raised you like it was embarrassing guys comment down below if that's something you could relate to i feel like a lot of people could relate to like laughing in situations when you're not supposed to laugh i don't know like we said when someone tries to make you laugh you don't find it funny. But in a situation when you're not supposed to laugh, that's when everything becomes funny. Yo, let us know in the comment section down below if that's something that's happened to you. All right, guys, that is going to close out today's video. This was my first ever mukbang I've done on this channel and actually the first ever mukbang that the Awadis family has ever done. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more story times. Yeah, so I can eat. I think this was a vibe. We told stories never ever before heard on YouTube. Other than that, it has been your boy, Brandon, aka Brawadis. Mama Rug! Mama Rug! Face Rug! And we're out! Peace! Guys, we got Dennis enjoying the seafood boil too, bro. How bomb is it? It's so bomb. I was waiting the whole time for you to finish that video. I had an eye on you like a hawk. Bro, look over where I was sitting, it's all drool. <laughs> <laughs>